In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Smarty Streets jQuery plugin to verify addresses in your HTML forms. This is the same plugin used by Zillow, DHL, and Dollar Shave Club. First, let's see how it works. Here's a basic HTML form for an address. Notice when I start to type the street address, it prompts me with suggestions. When I select one, it fills out the street, city, and state fields. Notice that these suggested addresses do not include zip codes and they're not yet verified. The autocomplete just provides a convenient way to enter the address. If you don't want autocomplete, it's really easy to turn off. Okay, once I fill out a complete address, I can submit the form. It will verify the address before submitting. I can also click this verify button to verify without submitting. It looks like this address was not verified. I can either click here to change the address or click here to certify it myself. If I certify it myself, then it will let me submit the form without verifying it again. Otherwise, it will verify it again when I try to submit. And that's how Smarty Streets works in its most basic form. Let's see how to get it and implement it. Here we are at SmartyStreets.com. To register, click Sign Up in the upper right. Then just enter first name, email address, and a password, and click the Create Account button. They give you some free lookups to get started. We need to generate our own key, so I'll click on API Keys in the menu. And as we'll be using Smarty Streets in a web form, I need to generate a new website key. So I enter the domain, or IP, that I'll be using Smarty Streets on, and click Generate. Then I just copy my new key to use my code. Note that this key will only work with my domain or IP. Now that we have our key, we can create our form. I'm starting with a simple HTML form. Some things to notice. I've included jQuery, which Smarty Streets requires. And in my form, I have four fields. Street address, city, state, and zip. You can give your fields any IDs you want, but you'll have to map them in your JavaScript code. So let's get the JavaScript code for the plugin. You can grab the code right from the plugin page on the Smarty Streets website. Just copy the script and paste it into your code. You can see I've already pasted it here. Notice I've entered my key. I have debug set to false and I've chosen US as the target. You could also set target to international to verify international addresses and I've set the addresses property to an array of objects and I've used that to map the values in my form to properties that Smarty Streets understands. I just have one address object in the array but you could have multiple addresses if you had multiple addresses in your form for example a shipping address and a billing address. Note that setting debug to true during testing will give you detailed logs in the console as well as some other helpful debugging features. Just be sure to turn it off before you go live. And that's it. Let's see it in the browser again. This looks just like what I showed you before. As we start to enter an address, it provides suggestions. But this time, watch what happens when I click a suggestion. The form populates as before, but it also immediately verifies. The addresses that are suggested will often be unverified, in part because the autosuggest doesn't populate the zip code. So you may want to turn off autocomplete. To do that, set autocomplete to zero. This way, when you start to enter an address, you won't get any suggestions. But I like getting suggestions, so I'll change zero to five. But I'd rather it didn't verify when I select an option. So I'll set auto verify to false. And this is how I had my settings in the original form. Let's take a look. Notice when I start to enter a street, I get five suggestions. When I select one, it doesn't verify. I can still verify manually if I want, or if I don't, it will verify when I submit. And that's how simple it is to get started with Smarty Streets. There are a lot of other configuration settings which are documented very well at the URL shown here. I hope you found this helpful. Now you should go and try it for yourself. Enjoy.